Today we'll be looking at a pen that is rarely seen outside of the Japanese market. The Sakura Craft Lab 001. Sakura's best known product outside of Japan is probably the Pigma Micron, a line of water-based pigment ink pens used by artists for line works. Since the majority of Sakura's existing product lines was considered art supplies, it decided to market the upscale pens under the Sakura Craft Lab branding. The 001 is made of pure brass. It is a fairly good-looking pen. The tip, front of the barrel, the clip, and the crown are all made of pure brass. The colored section is also brass on the inside, but wrapped in a painted acrylic layer, and sandblasted to create a matte semi-translucent surface giving it a distinct look. According to the company's marketing material, the designer wanted to simulate the look of smoked glass with the acrylic section. It is not a large pen at 13 cm. The length distribution is approximately 6 cm or 2.4 inches from the tip to the center of the barrel. Another 6 cm for the colored section, and approximately 1 cm for the top crown. The pen extends and retracts by rotating the crown, so the operation can be completely silent. Sakura says the crown is inspired by knobs on vintage cameras, and turning it does feel like turning dials on an old film camera or vintage audio equipment. The grip section being pure brass will eventually oxidize, and develop a patina the more it is used. You may or may not like that about this pen. But it will lose the shine after time. And much like the leather cover on a traveler's notebook, both will develop a distinct look based on how you use them. That's one of the reasons why I purchased this pen originally, because the overall look goes really well with my traveler's notebook covers. One problem I have with brass pens in the past is the metallic smell that transfers to your hand after prolonged writing sessions, and that is still true with this pen. But I'm hoping it will be less of a problem as the grip oxidizes. The pen writes fairly smoothly, typical of gel ink pens. The ink color actually matches the color of the pen body. It is hard to see with the camera and under this lighting, but the ink has a dark green shade to it and it is not just a regular black ink. The color is muted and acceptable in a work setting. The pen only comes with a 0.5mm tip, and that might disappoint those of you who prefer to write with wider lines. But on the positive side, the color is rich and dark, and the ink dries quickly. The pen weighs 34 grams. It feels substantial, but not heavy in the hand. It balances well, and at approximately the center portion of the pen. The pen opens up in the middle by rotating it counterclockwise. There is a spring inside the front barrel to keep the refill snugly fit. And here you can see that underneath the acrylic layer there is also a brass barrel. It uses a proprietary refill. The part number is RLGB05A. And I believe the number 30 refers to the color of the ink. So not only is it difficult to get this pen outside of Japan, it is going to be even harder finding refills for it. I tried to see if other common gel pen refills like the Zebra Sarasa and Pentel Energel might fit this pen, but I haven't had the luck so far. The Mitsubishi Uniball Signo refill, the UMR87E, might look similar in terms of construction, but it is too thick to fit in the pen barrel. I had better luck with ballpoint pen refills. The Mitsubishi Jetstream Refill SXR10 can be used with the 001. Here is a comparison of the Sakura Refill and the Jetstream one. The Sakura Refill is slightly shorter. You will need to trim off about 1.4 cm from the back of the Jetstream Refill. You will also need to use up the Jetstream ink a bit before chopping off the section, so that the silicone oil at the back won't leak out after you've shortened the refill. The pen comes in five different colors, black, blue black, brown black, bordeaux black, and green black. The inks all match the body color of the pens. At launch two additional body colors were available as limited editions, the black and the white with silver stainless steel bodies, but those are now extremely hard to find, even in Japan. This pen sells for 5,000 Japanese yen, and is sold mostly through brick and mortar stores in Japan. I bought this pen from the loft department store in Shibuya, Tokyo, and I was not able to find the pen on Amazon Japan. The best place to get one of these online is probably through eBay, but at much inflated prices. The fact that the pen is called the 001 suggests there are more pens in the lineup. And there are indeed, the 002, which is a physically longer but lower priced gel pen with a wider color selection. The 003 is also a gel ink pen, 
but has a stubby physical design. The 004 is a multifunction pen with a mechanical pencil built in. All pens in the series share the same design language and color schemes. I will review the rest of them in future videos. That's it for now. Hope you found this pen and the video interesting. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more pen videos.